Good evening. There are fewer than 60 hours to go until the polling stations open for the referendum on Scottish independence. And the fight for every last vote is on. We're in the Newsnight tent in Brotty Ferry in the SNP constituency of Dundee East with an audience of mainly Yes supporters. Tomorrow will mainly be with no voters in the only Tory seat in Scotland. With us tonight, the actor and Yes man, Brian Cox. In the No Camp, the businesswoman, Michelle Moan. And also we have the local MP, Stuart Hosey, will be speaking to David. David Cameron on his final foray into Scotland before the vote. And Alex Salmon says it's ridiculous to say the EU would reject an independent Scotland. We'll hear from Spain's Europe Minister who says it is not. Welcome to Broughty Ferry. There is a seemingly unquenchable thirst for debate, demonstration, gatherings all over the country on this, the referendum home straight. Much of it is good-tempered, but not all of it. In a moment, we'll be hearing from our political editor, Allegra Stratton. She's been in the streets of nearby Dundee, the city of Urwilly and Desperate Dan, and home to the Discovery, the ship which explored the Antarctic more than 100 years ago. She's also been in the capital with Alex Salmon. We'll be hearing from her in just a moment or two. But first, I guess, first of all, uh, Brian Cox, I mean, do you feel that this has actually been a kind of an incredibly energising um, experience for democracy because in the last two or three weeks the gears have shifted massively. Absolutely, it's it's a it's a movement and mm -hmm. it's a movement for social democracy. The the winner in all this is social democracy. I think we're the envy of the world. I think the world is looking at us slightly agog mm -hmm. at what's going on in Scotland. And I'm so proud of our country and I'm so proud of all the people here because we've we've shown an example which has been sadly missing mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm really excited about. But uh, Michelle, it's interesting because in the last last general election, the vote, the turnout in Scotland was about 64%. They say it could possibly be over 80%. Now, could you ever have imagined that happening? Never could imagine it. And I think, Christy, what it is bringing out is that passion uh, from mm -hmm. either side. No one can question that, you know, any Scot is... We're all passionate about mm -hmm. Scotland, whether you're in the yes camp or the no camp. Mm -hmm. And this Team Scotland that Alex Salmon keeps coming out with, I was quite um, hurt by it because he was making out people like me who are yes wanting us to stay together and grow together it was making me feel as if you're not passionate about Scotland I'm exceptionally passionate about Scotland I've grown my businesses here I live here and you know I was I grew, grew up in the east end of Glasgow and I've built my companies here so I am Team Scotland, but I'm in the yes camp. Do you think you're not, you're that no camp? camp. Hey, yes. No, I just have to remind that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Just remember. <laughs> no, no, no. We've got a convert. Isn't that wonderful? We have live oh. on television. We have well. a convert. That's magnificent. Thank you, least, Michelle. Thank you for that. People going your applaud. That's wonderful. And that brings me to my point. At least yes and no people can have a cuddle. Yeah. And no, but do you agree? Yeah. So. I was going to we'll talk about that because by and large uh, the campaign has been pretty good nature, but it's not. Not all been good natured, has and I wondered if there has been a kind of negativity creeping. Mm. Someone's out in Brotty Ferry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's been a kind of negativity in the campaign as well? No, I don't think there's been. I mean, the, you get headbangers, you know, but Scotland is the like land of headbangers. You. <laughs> you know, we just had one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, know <laughs> you do get headbangers, but on the whole, it's it's a uh, it's you know there's. Yeah, the, the civility is unbelievable, you know, the, and mm. everybody's worried about what's going to happen afterwards. Are we all going to come together again? Mm. Of course we're going to come together again. Mm. That's who we are. That's, that, that's what distinguishes us as a nation. Well, we've got uh, probably two-thirds yes voters here and a, a third no voters. Just coming to the yes voters here, did you, did you feel that you've actually been energised for the first time uh, in, in political discourse? Yes, the gentleman with the red jacket on and the tartan tie, can we hear from you? Absolutely. I mean, my yes vote isn't necessarily a vote for any particular policy, it's a vote for democracy, it's a vote for the energy that exists right across Scotland, yes and no. So I'm voting yes because there's something new and significant happening in our country at the moment. And just coming around to, to the no camp here, I mean, is, is this about don't, you know, vote no if you don't know. Are, are, there, are you very worried about the uncertainties over Europe, which we'll talk about later, over the currency? What are your major concerns? Somebody there, yes? Yeah, the gentleman there with the blue shirt on, yes. What are your major concerns? Well, one of the concerns, I think, in the city, which I think relates to Brian Cox, is, is really the effects on our universities. Mm -hmm. We've got two eminent universities in the city. 
and I think that independence would create difficulties for the financing of the eminent research teams, for instance, in biosciences. So I find it uh, interesting that Brian's the rector of Dundee University, but he's supporting uh, independence. Well, we're actually going to talk about the whole uh, position, the wonderful position that Nadee is in the world as a global research centre in a moment. But first, the temperature of the political rhetoric is indeed rising. Tonight, David Cameron delivered a warning to voters. In front of an audience of conservative actors and activists in Aberdeen, he sent forth an urgent message. Don't take your anger with the coalition, austerity or the bedroom tax out in your vote because there is no going back to the union after Thursday if there is a yes vote. He spoke to Laura Koonsberg. If there is a yes Minister, vote. Whatever happens in the next few days, there's significant constitutional change on the way. That's hardly what you planned. No, I think it's right to have a referendum on whether Scotland wants to stay part of the United Kingdom, but I always said right from the start of this campaign, if Scotland voted no to separation, the rest of the United Kingdom would say yes to further devolution. It's been good in the campaign that we've been able to say more about that, uh, and I think that's a positive. No doesn't mean no change. But it all looks terribly last minute in terms of the timetable and the detail. You were the Prime Minister who agreed the referendum, but also kept Devo Max off the ballot paper. If it's a yes and the UK breaks up, will you take personal responsibility? Well, on the question of having more than one question, I think it was right to have one question, because of course, if Scotland wants more devolution, and I think Scotland should have more devolution, you have to answer the prior question, do you want to stay in the United Kingdom? And of course, that wasn't just my view, that was the view of the leaders of other United Kingdom parties who all thought it was important, let's settle the question of separation and then look at devolution. Now, in this campaign, the individual parties have set out their proposals. They've been quite strikingly similar, so it's been possible to make progress. But, Prime Minister, without that on the ballot paper, many people believe that has increased the chances of a yes vote. You might therefore be the Prime Minister who presides over the breakup of a union that's more than 300 years old. How will you feel if that's your legacy? Well, of course, I feel passionately about our United Kingdom. I desperately want our country to stay together. I very much hope that Scotland will vote no and that will trigger further devolution. But I'm a Democrat. I was faced by a situation where one part of our United Kingdom voted for a government the Scottish National Party government that wanted a referendum. Now, I think the right decision was to allow that referendum rather than to fight it. I think if I had said, no, you can't have a referendum, I think Scottish independence would be closer today than it is. But you may have presided over an extraordinary set of constitutional events. How will you feel personally if you are the Prime Minister from the Conservative and Unionist Party who sees that nation break up? Well, I've been very clear. I've said that it would break my heart to see the United Kingdom split apart. And a few days before polling day, I'm, you know, I say that again on your programme. That is not what I seek. I want our United Kingdom to stay together. I believe we're stronger, safer, better off in this dangerous world of instability and problems and threats 